So after you plug it in, turn the unit on, you can do the app, get all that set up, that same as the standard install. But this next step, we provide you with a quick and easy with this DC disconnect here. Uh, we provide you with solar wire and we provide you with these solar whips. Okay, so the next step to tax the solar, you're gonna do your own array. We don't get into a lot of detail or no detail on what you need to do for your array. Just have around 1500 watts of solar panel on your roof, plus or minus, depending on where you live, but two for 1500 and that will produce like here we need in Las Vegas, we're doing the, the panels we have up there are 1,520 on, on our uh, one-ton unit. And in like July and August, when it's 110 degrees here, they're probably only producing maybe 1,000, maybe 1,100 watts. And the unit actually in the summertime too, you get double jeopardy because you end up having to have that unit with the compressor needs a lot more power and the heat of the summer than it does in the sun, than it would in the uh, spring or fall. Okay, summer, winter, compressor runs hot, harder, winter in the heat for heating, obviously, and summer for air conditioning than uh, fall and winter. So the hotter it is, the more power the unit takes. So that's why I add a little bit extra power to your solar array. 1500 is a pretty good amount. You can do 2000, but at some point you get to a point of diminishing returns, so we recommend 1,500 watts of solar. Okay, so this next step, this is called an MC4 connector. It's a male one. Click, this is the female one. Click, right now this is still turned off. Turn it on, and you're done with that step, and that's really the final step. Thank you.